Hi. Look, there's something I have to say, and I probably should have told you earlier, but I didn't think it was going anywhere, but now I think it is, or I thought it was. But now you're pregnant, so I probably shouldn't tell you because stress is bad for the baby. <laughs> no, but you're keeping it, right? God, you're huge. Are those my boots? Look, Michael and I are together. We're a couple. I'm sorry to tell you earlier, I didn't plan it. I was out and saw Michael and we said, hello. We got to talking and it came out, you know, it was really quite fancy. I mean, couldn't do anything about it, obviously, because me and you were best friends. And I said that I actually quite fancy him too. And that's why I was a bit of a bitch to him. Because subconsciously I fancied him. And I always just talked to Ed about him. That's why Ed would never come out and force him with us because he thought I fancied my coach. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think I did. Turns out I did because I fancy him now. Anyway, we weren't going to tell you because obviously you two had just broken up and I knew how pissed off you'd be. But then we said, well, why don't we just have a kiss? Get it out of our systems while we're both single then. So we had a kiss and things and things. And well, the kiss continues and things. And we ended up having sex, which I'm not proud of. But it was good. <laughs> but it was bad because the condom broke and I had to go get that morning after pill, which was fucking awful. And I was terrified because I thought I was going to have a baby. And you know how much I fucking hate babies because of that dream I have where they all have my mom and dad's faces and they shit and piss and cry and you can't stop them. But now you're telling me you're pregnant and that you haven't had sex with anyone since Michael, which makes Michael the dad. And you weren't going to tell me because of the fuss I made about Michael being such a fucker when he dumped you. <laughs> so now you're lying to me and he's lying to me and I'm lying to you and you're fucking him and I'm fucking him and he's fucking you and me and I'm going to lose my best friend and my boyfriend. Not that I call him my boyfriend, but technically he is. And I'm going to be helpless and hopeless and friendless and loveless and... I'm gonna die old and alone with thread vein and a weak bladder in a house full of cats.